Last month, some people from Canada had the privilege of joining Pastor Shaiju Matthew, who visited his spiritual father, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa is an end time prophet anointed by God to draw God's people to himself with deep revelations and understanding. And in 2015, Warren Bird from the Leadership Network ranked United Family International Church as being the ninth largest church in the world. Fast forward to today, and UFIC now has over 80,000 people and growing strong. Last month was the 10 year celebration of this incredible greatness. And Pastor Shaiju had the privilege of opening the platform for the man of God who mentors leaders from all around the world. We invite you to open up your hearts and drink from the same river. Expect these revelations to shift you into a new chapter of your life. Ladies and gentlemen, Help me to welcome to the podium our father's son, none other than Pastor Shaiju Matthew. Please help me to welcome the man of God. Let's put our hands together for him. Let's put our hands together for him. Let's welcome our brother. Father, we thank you for what you're about to do in this place. We do not need to see you do things to praise you. We praise you in advance. We do not need to see you do things to thank you. We thank you in advance. And we give you all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. In Jesus' name and the church said, Amen. Come on, let's celebrate. I wish you a happy 10th year anniversary to the UFIC Church. Please be seated. Makadini. Amaina na baba wedu wakanaka Yebo 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 Tatenda 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 baba Tatenda mai And Tatenda Jesu. I'm so honored to stand here on the 10th anniversary of UFIC Church. 
I have a heavy I have a heavy assignment on me tonight so I'm going to try to get out of this platform as soon as possible Ndine basa guru manero ano saka ndichaedza kubva pano nekukurumidza I came to absorb everything possible in this 3 days Ndakauya kuzoka muchira zvese zvingakwanisike mumazo amatatu And if I stay long here my own children that are here will be upset with me because they came to hear grandpa. <laughs> so please turn with me to the book of Acts chapter 7. <laughs> Verse 22 to 25. Acts 7 verse 22 to 25. Acts 7 verse 22 to 25. Acts 7 verse 22 to 25. And Moses was learned in all the wisdom of the Egyptians and was mighty in words and in deeds. And when he was full 40 years old It came into his heart to visit his brethren the children of Israel and seeing one of them suffer wrong he defended him and avenged him that was oppressed and smote the Egyptian was 25 for he supposed his brethren would have understood how that god by his hand would deliver them but they understood not we know somebody that was born on december 25th tinozia momo wakabarwa suwa december 25 but i want to talk to you about something that happened at the birth of jesus ndakutaura nemi pamsoro pe zvakaitika pakuzvarwa kwa jesu When the greatest moment in history was born there was only two groups that took part in that moment Pakaitika chine chikuru pasirino pane mapoka maviri chete anga aripo The first group was wise men and a few shepherds Boka rekutanga vanga vari vachenjeri uyezve navafudzi vashomanana when millions others went by without knowing that something of massive greatness was born just these two groups had the privilege to be part of it very zhinji vasingambozia kuti kune zvinoshamisa zvakadaro zvaitika mapoka mavira aya akawana nyasha sekuziva and that brings us to that question is it possible for us to see greatness in our lifetime and still miss it iso zoti pamubvunzo kuti tinogona kuona here ukuru pakati pedu torega kuziva if you study these two groups you will notice something ukawongorora mapoka maviri aya unoona chimwe chino wise men the first group they followed a sign they followed a star vachenjeri vakatera chiratidzo vakatera nyenye The second group were simple men but they were alert people. Vechipiri vanga vara vanhu vakazvidzika asi vanhu vaigara vakatea. Both the groups were people that were willing to stay awake when millions were sleeping. Mapoka mavira vanhu vanga vakazvipira kuramba vakasvinura vamwe vose vakakotsira. The wives of the wise men must have said you are crazy to keep looking up for the star there is no star coming Madzimai evachenjera tinoona achisvika pakuti munopenga imbora pamutarisira nyeredzi hakuna chiri kuya Shepherds sacrifice their own life to guard their sheep Vafudzi vachizvipira kuchengetedza makwai avo Both got an opportunity to meet Jesus Vose vakaona mukana hukusungana na Jesu but the wise men who followed the signs asiva chenjeri vakatevera chiratidzo encountered a problem that the shepherds who followed the voice 
did not encounter. The shepherds heard the angels declare the voice of God that a king is born. So one group followed the sign. The second group followed the voice. The one that followed the sign, when they saw something glittering like the star, they confused it to greatness and entered into a wrong place. But the, the shepherds that followed the voice met with Jesus without any problems. I know there are many people that came here because you saw a sign. Signs are good. We want more signs. But tonight, I want to appreciate those that are here because they heard a voice. Jesus himself said, Blessed are those who believe without seeing. And I have seen those that came for miracles, got their miracles and left. But the one man that loved Jesus remained at his feet till the end. I believe that you are here because you heard a voice. And John the Baptist, he said, they asked him, who are you? He said, I am the voice. How can you be the voice? Is there a grammar error? John the Baptist was so immersed in the call of God that he became the walking voice. I'm telling you something that I have experienced. I have been to many, many places, churches, ministries around the world, but I am yet to see a church that loves the word of God like UFIC. Oh, I tell you, I tell you, the devil thinks twice before attacking a UFIC member. Because they listen to the voice. People of God, even this is my opinion, you don't have to agree to it. <laughs> but I am convinced that even if Papa doesn't preach another message, he has already preached messages that can turn the world upside down. There are some men of God that you see you want to preach like them. There are some men of God you see you want to heal and deliver like them. But there is something about listening to our Baba. You want to be holy like he is. Any message that you hear, at the end of it, you are like, Oh God, give me a better character. I don't know about you. But I know when we become like Jesus, we don't need to pursue miracles. Miracles will begin to pursue us. 
What am I trying to say? I'm trying to say just like that verse that we read. That God has sent us our Moses. I don't know if you heard it, so I'm going to probably say that again. I said, God has sent us our Moses. You hear people say, these are the days of Elijah, but I'm here to say, these are the days of Makandiva. May I declare to somebody that has faith tonight, these are also the days of the sons and the daughters of the prophet Makandiva. If you believe that, let me hear the loudest amen in the house. Please be seated. Please be seated. I, 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 I'm going to quickly share something and I'm going to close. God told Abraham your children will be slaves in the land for 400 years. But they did not come out of Egypt until 430 years. So the question we need to ask tonight is was God late? Did God forget his promise? If you notice verse 23, it says, when he was 40 years old, it came into his heart to visit his brothers, the children of Israel. I believe the children of God in UFIC are intelligent believers. So I want you to quickly notice a math. They came out of Egypt in 400, after 430 years. But the Bible is saying that for 40 years Moses ran away. Moses came to help them but they scared him away for 40 years he said God I don't want to do anything with these people these people are crazy I tried to help them they want to kill me so now let's backtrack so, so, so 40 years he ran away they were supposed to come out in 400 years. 430 years minus 40. 430 years is 390 years. So this is this is my version. I'm going to read that verse again. When it was 390 years it came into his heart to visit his brothers. That means he did not come to help them 30 years late. In fact, God sent Moses 10 years ahead of time. Come on, somebody. God was already putting a thought in the heart of Moses 10 years ahead of time. I don't know if, 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 if somebody can zoom into that, 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 that pulpit right there. Can somebody zoom into that pulpit? And, and, and there is something that is written there. I just, just want to make sure... 
because you're so silent i don't know if you're understanding what god is speaking right now hey tala baba look at your neighbor tarinar pechuk neve and say 10 years ahead of time your breakthrough already came now if you understand that clap your hands and rejoice and celebrate and shout Woo! somebody shout a hallelujah sit down 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 I'm going to close. But the problem was they did not believe in the weakness of Moses. They said he is a stammerer. Avana kutenda muutera wa Moses vakatano kakama. Some people refuse the help of the ones God sent because of their weakness. Pane chinoita kuti ukonzere kutarira utera uye akatumwa na mwari womuramba. Some others refuse the help of the ones God sends because they are too strong. Vamwe vanoramba vakatumwa na mwari nokuti vane simba rakanyanyisa. Our papa doesn't stammer like Moses. Papa avakakamesa Moses. He is probably the most fluent prophetic Bible teacher that can handle the double edged sword. and with the understanding of daniel and the integrity of abraham in our generation ivo murairidzi we bible wenguva yedu yet many times we have a narrow vision asi nguva zhinji tinonanga pano padikidiki the wise men got distracted because they saw the twinkling star was so far but there was a, a shiny palace in front of them vachenjeri vakarasiswa nekuona nyeredzi yaipenya iri kure ndokubva vaona mutinda wa mambo waipinya if only they could understand that when that shiny star come closes it is bigger than a thousand palaces of this world dai vakagona kunzwisa chete kuti nyeredzi iyo yavaiona iri dikidiki yakakura kudarika mizinda I say the problem was not with Moses the problem was with Israelites. Sometimes we are stiff necked. We shoot our own spiritual covering. Christians are the only people that bury the generals while they are alive. Makristo ndo vanochete vanofushira mare dzichiri meyo. And we sing their praises after they are gone. Vose varemekedza vafa. But I'm not talking about you if I see. Asa nzitaura nezve you if I see. Going to conclude with this. Regaini pedzi send shiti. A generation died because the wise men lost their focus. Pane rudzi rwakafa nekuti Thousands of babies were killed because a wise man got distracted by a palace. Kune zvuru zvavana zvakaurawa nekuda kuti vachenjere vakarasikira mumuzinda. You are fine. My family. You are fine. Last 10 years were beautiful. Makore 10 ya pfura anga kana kisa. But what God is about to do in the next 10 years? No eyes have seen. Hakuna ziso rakaona. No ears have heard. No hearts have perceived. Hakuna moyo wakangozvifunga. God put a thought in Moses heart. Mwari wakaisa mufungo mumoyo wa Moses. Right now. Because you know. As you and I are sitting here. You when any tigere pano. God is putting a thought in papa's heart mwari varikuisa mufungo mumoyo wa baba you don't understand this one thought pane mufungo mumwe chete this one thought pane mufungo mumwe chete can break the chains of 400 no 
So I don't know if you are ready. Moses was ready, but the people were not ready. Tonight, there is going to be one thought that will break the chains that have been on your forefathers, your great-grandfathers, your generations. Tonight is your night. But I want to ask, are you ready? Can you shout like you have never shouted before? Listen. Ah, some of you are waiting for Papa to come on the stage. Some of you are waiting for him to utter a word. But I'm telling you, we are under the same roof. Wherever you are watching, on YouTube, on Facebook. Get ready to experience the power. Hallelujah. Hi there, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe below and share and we'll catch you next time.